hard fought series. It will end here tonight. The deciding game seven, round one in the East. Happy to bring you all the action. I'm Kevin Hart. Alongside Clark Keller and Steve Kerr. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. It's the Orlando Magic taking on Washington. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. And guys, what are you looking for in this one for Michaela? One of the best low post scorers the league has ever seen. Guys, Michaela had moves and counter moves like you wouldn't believe. Just fundamentally, I think the best post player of all time. A man of a thousand moves and then some. He was terrific. High arching shot, kept it up above his head, but the up and unders, the jump hooks, and a nice little mid-range jump shot. He had it all. He was absolutely fantastic down low. You look at Washington. It all comes down to this. A well-fought series so far, but only one team will walk away victorious. Guys, this is the payoff for the work they put in during the regular season, getting to play this deciding game in their own building. And these fans are ready to carry them. And Steve, how lucky are we to get to be part of something like this on the biggest stage the NBA has to offer? The way these two teams have battled, I mean, it just felt all along like this series was going to go the distance. Wow. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. The Magic shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. The free throw drops for Matumbo. And so Matumbo nails both of them. Orlando on D coming to this one after winning on Tuesday. And, Kevin, that was an outstanding win. To get it the way they did in overtime made it that much sweeter, I think. I agree, and I think most people probably thought that once they couldn't win it in regulation, that they had missed their best shot, and overtime wasn't going to go their way. But give them credit for pulling it out. Sensational pass. Even in mid-shot, he still saw the open man. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. The Magic head coach and I had a chance to talk just for a bit. Winning an elimination game on the road is one of the hardest tasks in the NBA, if not the hardest. But when I brought that up, he said, well, that's something for the fans to worry about. It's still a basketball game just like any other. It doesn't change what we need to do to be successful. Kevin, he's right on point. Thanks, Doris. And that one's good. I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Iverson kicks to Johnson. Back to Iverson. Shot clock at six. Into Johnson. Matumbo with the block. Here is Rose. Here's Posey. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. The defense hasn't been able to set up. Now here's Iverson. It's tipped. It's stolen by Matumbo. Posey with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. And good on the basket. Book it. Red hot, right out of the gates. Four for four shooting. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. You can tell he's in a lot of pain. They'll take a timeout so that trainer can help him out. And with a break on the floor. Let's see which point guards were the best distributors during the regular season. Here are the assist leaders among them. Wizards have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Iverson outside. They set the pick. The pass to Hawkins. Johnson. The Wizards working the ball around now. Shot to stop the run. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Outstanding job there to absorb the contact and guide it in. That's how you impose your will against the defender. He came to play. The Wizards have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. That's good from the Prodigy. Magic leading by five. Rose kicks to Matumbo. Rose. Well, they recover it. Matumbo dishes to Rose. Pass to Bruce. Outside Rose. 
feeds to Bellamy. Back to Rose. Into Bellamy. Hangs. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got three assists now in this one. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Now here's Iverson. Allen Iverson on the wing. Rocket six. Shots one in from the wing. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. Rose passes to Bellamy. And Posey kicks to Matumbo. Outside Rose. But three gets the bucket. Rose has got his second bucket of the night. You know, even though he doesn't really have the long-range ability uh, on a consistent level, he can knock down some open ones. Johnson kicks to Iverson. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew Conjack down the shot. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. The boost is checked in for Orlando. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Orlando leading by six. Bellamy with a screen on Johnson. Jumper off the screen. And there are the Magic with another bucket. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not offering much resistance. They've got to force the ball back out to the perimeter. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. The Magic shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. The free throw drops for Rose. Both good from the line that time. Well, that was solid. I'll tell you, he's one of the best there is up there at the foul line. Wizards trail by 10. And it's Johnson penetrating. And the foul on Terry Rose. That's foul number two for him. And that's two fouls for him very early in this ball game. They'll probably have to spend some time on the bench before halftime. The franchise is checked in for Orlando. Passes it to Hawkins. Six on the shot clock. On Rhodes. Good as the jump shot falls. Magic leading by eight. He dishes it to Bellamy. Pass to Francis. Rejected by Hawkins. Tries to keep it alive. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. Here's the franchise. And it's out of bounds to the Magic as Orlando will retain possession. Rocket two, Posey, and it lands. They get one to fall. Posey's got six points. Wizards trail by 10. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Well, just too many easy buckets, you know, in and around the paint. So he wants to put a stop to it. His timeout is going to be used to try to tighten up the defense. Guys at this level, they won't miss often if you keep giving up looks inside. And they're paying for that right now. Good timeout here. Allen 
Iverson on the win. Angelo looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. There's the pick. Back to Johnson. Shot clock at five. Wizards passing it around from deep. They've done a good job of keeping everything outside. Iverson outside. Kicks to McHale. He passes to Johnson. It's Hawkins on the wing. Back to Johnson. Second shot opportunity, and the rejection by Bellamy. And so it looks like Washington will retain possession here. Johnson from outside. A second left. He's dead again, and McHale finishes inside. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. Outside Boozer. Now the pass to the Beast. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. This seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. It's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Joe Dumars, he's checked in for Washington. That free throw good from the Beast. And like you said, we've seen him, uh, you know, do a terrific job keeping the attempts on the perimeter. Well, you know, Kevin, defensively, when you can limit the opposition to 30%, 25% success rate in the post, you give your defense the ability to work outside much more efficiently. Iverson with the bucket. This is great stuff, guys. You can tell he's hurting, but he continues to play well. Pass to the beast. Here's the franchise. Just five on the clock. Tries from seven. Bellamy with the bucket. Bellamy's got six. And the story of this game in the early stages is just how well they've been shooting the ball. Steve, their percentage from the floor is really impressive up to this point. Now, here's Dumars. Deflects the pass. And now Orlando on the break. Bellamy issues to Boozer. And it's blocked. Iverson with the ball. He's got seven. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the match. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And we're also seeing a lot of fast break hoops, so this team doing a nice job getting easy points. Free throw good, Iverson. David West, he's checked in for Orlando. Russell comes in for Boozer. And both free throws good for Iverson. Orlando leading by eight. West inside. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. Defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Yeah, they're getting exposed right now. Now, here's Dumas. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Iverson. Can't get it to go. And Orlando the other way now. And it's blocked by Bosch. Now, here's Richardson. Defended by McLeod. Back to Bosch. The dish to Iverson. Shoots from 12. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And when it comes to his defense, guys, he's fun to watch. He's great at sensing a ball handler's next move and then making his own move to counter it. And, you know, he is an extremely skilled player attacking off the dribble, too. I mean, he's got a great pull-up jumper as well, Steve. Free throw good, Iverson. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for the Wizards.
Second free throw, no good. Magic leading by nine. Puts it up from 17. Rejected by Richardson. And Russell gets it to go. And I'll tell you what, they've been a step slow here early on. I agree with you. I mean, they're allowing too many open shots. They've seemed a little sluggish to me. Now, here's Richardson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. The Wizards have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. The first one falls. Aussies checked in for Allen Iverson. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And very quickly here in the first quarter, pronounced advantage for them on the glass. Yeah, that's a trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Wizards trail by 10. Boss passes to Dumas. Hodman sets a screen. On the wing, Jason Richardson. They get a hand on it. And up the court come the Magic on the break. Russell passes to the Beast. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. The Beast's got five. Kevin, they've been playing with an awful lot of energy here, getting a lot of offensive rebounds. That's always an indicator of hustle and energy. And up the court come the Magic on the break. And the slam dunk by Russell. I love the aggressiveness with their approach. Pounding the ball inside, and it's working. They are owning this game early. They are constantly finding lanes to the basket. The Wizards have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. It's Dumars on the wing. Defended by Francis. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And the offensive rebounds leading to second chance points. Yep, Kevin, and they have six in this quarter. And you know what? That's always a good sign in terms of a team that's focused and energetic. I mean, when you can get to that offensive glass, you're doing some work. And that one falls for Bosch. And so Bosch nails both of them. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Francis passes to the Beast. Takes it off the glass. The Beast's got his third basket of the night right there. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open, just couldn't take advantage. Cloud passed to the beast. The second effort. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. A lot of noise coming from these fans. Pretty unhappy with that call. Well, you know, we've got a lot of amateur officials in the crowd, and not one of them liked it. The Magic making a switch here. Matumbo's checked in. Tipped. Now Russell. And he uses the glass on the way. Russell's got six. Boy, it's been a poor defensive effort. When that ball has gone inside, into the post, they've been in trouble. Yep, points in the paint clearly going against them now. Now, here's Dumas. He hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure will change. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. Here's Russell. Pass to McClough. Pulls it up. They get the rebound. Matumbo kicks it to West. Stolen by Bosch. About seven seconds separating the shot and game blocks. The shot's good from Boss. Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. Back to West. Knocked away. Dishes it to Matumbo. Working on Bosch. Wow, that's three in the first quarter, and I think if you're the coach, you've got to think about sitting him down. Here's Dumars. He passes to Boss. Richardson. No good on the triple. 
from midcourt. No good. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Magic lead by 13. We'll be back shortly live from the Verizon Center. And welcome back to this Game 7 as we get ready to get back into the action. Guys, we've seen the Magic really take control here. And it's really been a dominant effort on the glass. That's been the key here. Yeah, they've established a nice low post presence, which always tends to help you on the rebounding battle. They've got Boss. Richardson out there with Dennis Rodman. Then it's Joe Dumars. And it's Bosch in at the center. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Wizards. Richardson, no luck. Well, it's the edge they've had in that area on the glass that's played a big role in this game. And they've got some strong guys, Steve. Guys that are strong and well put together, and they've used that strength to their advantage down low. Looked like there was a little confusion there as to who was supposed to be guarding him. Back to Rodman. Knocks it loose. And now, running up the court, West pushing it up. Washington with the rebound. Top D on the inside. Put up a roadblock, a construction barrel right there. That's what he brings defensively. And the jam by Dennis Rodman. Maybe that'll ignite. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're key. That's what those alley oops do, though. And now the first time out call here for the Magic. And I think he, he believes that if he takes some time here to kind of talk things over, it'll be well served for this club. And, you know, maybe this gives him an opportunity to toy around with some of their game plan while he has their attention during this break in the action. Tom Bowie's checked in for David West. Now here's Matumbo from deep rows. Can't get it to go. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Boss passes to Dumas. With his first shot attempt, Rose with the rebound. Orlando leading by 14. Rose can't get that one to fall. And he continues to search for his rhythm. It's eluded him to this point. Outside, Rodman. On the wing, Jason Richardson. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Let's look back in the regular season for a moment and bring up a list of the best three-point shooting small forwards in basketball. Number one, Jason Richardson. Well, he sure is a, a pure sharpshooter. Guys, exactly who you want roaming the wing and daring the defense to give him space beyond the arc. You know, he's getting less and less of that space as time goes by, and he continues to put up those numbers from three-point land. He's very much the focal point of any defense these days. He's the primary guy to lock into on the scouting report. Six to shoot. They get a back. Here's the Beast. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. The Beast's got 11 points. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. Spree well. They grab their own miss. Rodman with the bucket. They have got to put a body on because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive line. Here's Francis. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. The Magic have been yet missed a free throw. Five for five. That free throw good from Francis. And the Magic making a change here. West is checked in. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. The pass to Boss. The feed to Bosch. West is there. And David West gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. First 
He feeds it to Dumars. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. Maybe a low percentage pass, but it, it still nearly got through. I like it, though. I mean, it's an aggressive play. Heads up defending the reflected away. Wizards trail by 16. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Firmly in control of this game. Yeah, they have not let their guard down one bit in the paint. Now, here's Dumas. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Here's the prodigy. And here's Rose. Passes to Francis. Covered by Dumas. But they'll get another chance. It's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. Too little, too late from the deep. Give him credit for trying anyway. Great job he did getting through him and up to the rim. Yeah, now that was aggressive, and that's exactly what I like to see. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Hawkins checked in for Richardson. Iverson comes in for Boss, and it's Johnson in for Joe Dumas. Washington calls timeout. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about right now. They need to tighten it up. Here's Johnson. He kicks to Iverson. That one rolling around and runs out. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Cloud pass to Matumba. West, Orlando moving the ball around. Offensive rebound, McCloud. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And he's got his first chance at the line here. That free throw good from McLeod. Shooting 100% in the quarter. They've um, they made them all, taking full advantage at the line. Well, it's a nice job of really making the most of their opportunities. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Iverson. Pocket six to stop the run. He squares up and sinks it. Iverson's got 12 in the game. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Rose passes to Francis. Back to Rose. Rose can't get that one to fall. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Johnson kicks to Bosch. Pass to the prodigy. He's up against Matumbo. Hits the jump hook. He's got five. Orlando leading by 17. And there's the pass to McClough. That's good. He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. Johnson outside. It's Hawkins on the wing. Shot clock at six. Feeds it to Bosch. Bosch picks up the loose ball, but he was in the backcourt. They'll give it up. Bone-headed play, guys. Plain and simple. Yep, brain fade is what I like to call it. There's no way they're getting out of the hole making mistakes like that. Wizards making a switch here. Odman's checked in. No good from McLeod. Wizards trail by 19. And they double up Iverson. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. That's a poor possession. You just give away the ball with a sloppy pass. Orlando's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Rose against Johnson. Here's Francis. Another miss by Orlando. Wizards have gone four ten in the second quarter from the field. Got a piece of it. He dishes it to Rose. Passes it to Francis. Orlando making some changes. The Beast comes in for Matumbo. And James Posey subbed in for the franchise. The Beast passes to Rose. And taken away by Magic. Alan Iverson on the way. 
He's covered by Rhodes. Hawkins gets to Iverson. And a double up Iverson. Just five to shoot. Wizards need to get a shot off here. Nice job coming off that screen. Iverson's got 15 points. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. The Bees passes to McClough. Oh, a jam by Rose. Wizards trail by 18. And it's Johnson penetrating. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. He misses the free throw. Bellamy checked in for David West. He hits the second from the line. Magic leading by 17. And Posey kicks to Rose. Pass to McClough. There's the dish to Posey. Now the feed to Rose. Posey. He passes it to the Beast. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it to Rose. Shot off the screen. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Johnson kicks to Iverson. And they double up Iverson. Pass to Hawkins. On deep. It's hauled in by the Magic. Rose has got four rebounds in this game. Pulls up. The offensive rebound. And then Bellamy with the dunk. Up and in with force after the offensive rebound. I like that tenacity. Yeah, he is so sturdy. He just battles for every rebound. Now here's Johnson. Here's Burleson. And again, Washington, no good. Magic leading by 19 points. Rose with the ball. Now defended by Hawkins. Kept alive. Bellamy. Soft touch off the glass. Bellamy's got 10 points in the game. Another bucket in the paint? That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively, Clark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. The shot by Hawkins, no good. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Posey, no luck. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. Here's Iverson. Uses the glass to finish the win. Iverson's got seven points here in this quarter. You know, he operates so well close to the bucket. There's nothing he likes more than seeing an opening inside. Outside Rose. Dishes it to Posey. From the arc. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got six assists here tonight. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Now here's Iverson. 17 points in the game. Here's Burleson on the money from 12 feet away. 122 left in the first half. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. came from this group during the regular season. Look here at the league's highest scoring shooting guards. Well, you look at Allen Iverson, third in the league, he typically dominates up. He can seemingly score at will. And this is the cream of the crop at the two-guard spot, strictly in terms of scoring ability and the ease with which these guys break down opposing defenses. I love that they are so attack-minded and come at you really aggressively across the board. They're players that can carry a team offensively for long stretches of the game. A double clutch, and it's good on the way in. Iverson's got nine points in the quarter. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. Rose attacking. No good off the back of the rim. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroke. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. You know, he doesn't fit into that kind of classic power forward mode, but he has that tremendous athleticism. 
And it's the Magic with the ball after the basket by Washington. In low to Boozer, and there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Can you hear the, the crowd kind of murmuring? I don't think they agreed with the officials on that one. Steve, I tell you what, they're really letting them have it. That free throw good from Boozer. Here's Johnson. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Johnson off the pitch from McHale. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. And defensively, so the wind has just been knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low. And that one misses. Posey passes to McClough. He feeds it to Boozer. second attempt there. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Magic out in front, leading by 17. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome to the halftime. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. We're back to the action here in this round one matchup. What a game we're seeing from Allen Iverson. Play created a lot of opportunities for himself in the first couple of quarters. And I'll tell you what, he, he was smart with his shot making too. It really took good ones. You know, points per shot attempted is really one of the undervalued stats in the game. And it's a real measurement of efficient scoring. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. And so in the game for the Magic, they've got Boozer. Mutombo is out there with Bellamy. Then there's James Posey. And it's McClough. They have the one. Derek Rose is checked in for the Magic. He's off on the second. The Wizards trail by 18. Hawkins kicks to Iverson. There's the pass to Johnson. And here's Hawkins. Feeds it to Iverson. He dishes it to Johnson. Four on the clock. Matembo is a nice D. Well, he had to fade away there. The defense was all over him, and he got it off. Just couldn't get it to go. Posey passes to Matembo. Tries from 10. Cut the bucket. Matembo's got five now. I like the way they're working the ball inside because when you do that, you get higher percentage shots and typically good things happen. I'll tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And I love how he goes with that one-hand tomahawk slam. Beautiful. That's good from Hawkins. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Posey dishes to Rose. In low to Matumbo. Some solid defense from Hawkins. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Oh, oh boy, he is just cold as ice. I don't think he's going to be the one to help them cut into the lead. And assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Really an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Lonzo looks like the Wizards will return possession here. Rose against Johnson. Five on the clock. Tipped away off his leg. And the official saying it was kicked. Poked away. It's stolen by Matumbo. For the finish. Rips down the breakaway slam. 
You know, he can be a little awkward with the ball sometimes when it's in his hands, but not that time. Why do you think it is we don't see more of those out of him, Steve? I don't know. I mean, he's certainly got the size. He just lacks the confidence, I think, sometimes near the basket. Here's Hawkins. And I'm not sure what he was thinking there. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And I'll tell you what, they've turned a lot of those rebounds into points at the other end. That's good. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. Washington calls timeout. Well, you got to put a body on your man when the shot goes up. That's just fundamental basketball. They're giving up way too many offensive rebounds. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Johnson outside. They need this. The Wizards with another miss. They're struggling here. They're just one of five to start this third quarter. They've got to loosen up here. Rose, that's good. When it rains and pours, another jump shot tickles that twine. Yeah, they've got it flowing right now, guys. They're putting together a nice little run. There's a screen by McHale. The drive by Iverson. It's stolen by Rhodes. Into Bellamy. It's picked off. Johnson kicks to Iverson. Back to Johnson. Wizards passing it around. Here's the prodigy. He's got five. Clock is at three. A floater. Oh, that's blocked. Rose with the ball. Now guarded by Hawkins. Gets it to go. Posey's got 11 points. Well, they've played terrific basketball at both ends, and that's why this lead is totally out of control. Really been an almost flawless game for him, Steve. No doubt about it. Now here's Iverson. He's got 19. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Talk about being on his game. Look at the numbers for Iverson. 19 points. And he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. So the defenders have that in the back of their minds now, too. So they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. The Beast, he's checked in for Matumbo. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 14-4 run. Posey with it. He's got 11. Passes it to the Beast. Back to Rose. He kicks it to Bellamy. Nice move. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the men. And they continue to run and gun throughout the game, guys. They worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They've had a bunch of second chance points. The Wizards have gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pictured the half start to the paint and out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Now let's take this chance to break out the list of the NBA's top free throw shooting teams in the regular season. Number one, the Wizards. Boy, I tell you what, Kevin, when you have numbers like this from the line, your coach is not only satisfied, but he's confident. Sure, there are some guys whose numbers help offset the weaker shooters, but overall, this has been a solid team from the line. Now here's Boozer. He trains the turnaround jump shot. Boozer's got his second bucket tonight. Wow, what an incredible run they're on. This is as good an offense as you will see. Well, every single guy on the floor right now just feeling it. The shot goes in as the ref calls the blocking foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Give him assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. James Posey's checked in for Orlando. Orlando, they've got nearly everything to drop this quarter. They're 7 of 8 from the floor since halftime. Rose passes to McClough. The dish to Bellamy. Pass to Rose. And he drops it in from the low post. Rose has got seven now in this quarter. Boy, beautiful assist. That's a couple of teammates clearly on the same page. 
Now Hawkins, seven points in the game. And that's a foul called on the Beast. That's his third foul of the game. That's his third personal foul. 14 foul. Here's Johnson. The feed to Iverson. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson's got his fifth assist in this one. The pass to McClough. Here's the Beast. Iverson covering. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. Well, some really terrific numbers for the Beast. He has 11 points, and boy, are his rebound numbers ever impressive. And I'll tell you what, Clark, it's all about effort, guts, determination. I mean, he is just fighting today and dominating as a result. Joe Dumas, he's checked in for Washington. The Wizards have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Rose with the block. A floater, shot from 16. And he hits the jump shot. Rose has got nine points now in just the second half. And his confidence has come back since halftime after really a rough first two quarters. Now, here is Dumas. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Well, Orlando shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Rose kicks to Bellamy. From 11 feet away, rebound Washington. McHale's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. There's the screen. Up top, Dumars. Defended by McLeod. And Dumars gets it to go. And Orlando has possession. Outside Rose, Bellamy, he's guarded by McHale. Bellamy with the bucket. Bellamy's got five points in the quarter. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the charts. Iverson outside. Five to shoot. From the strike, again the Wizards score. And he has been their unquestioned leader offensively this quarter. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And the Magic making a change here. Hoosiers check in. And it's the Magic's ball. Rose goes in. Here's McLeod. But they get it back. Nice hustle to get them a second look. Bellamy. Boozer passes to the Beast. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. He's got 11. You know, their three-point shooting since halftime is about as good as you could possibly ask for, guys. Now's the time to put the pedal to the metal, boys. Keep firing those deep balls and build that lead up. Now here's Iverson. He's got 29 points. And they double up Iverson. Just four to shoot. Here's Burleson. Boozer with the rebound. Boozer's got three rebounds so far in the game. And again, it's Orlando converting. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Dumars kicks to Hawkins. To the inside. Here's the prodigy, and it's good. Fought through contact, hits the shot, he'll go to the free throw line. Well, he recognized the advantage size-wise, and he went right at the defender. That's how you do it. This trip is his one second shot. to the free throw line in this one. And Orlando making a change here. That free throw good from the prodigy. Orlando's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. From deep rows. They get it back, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Matumbo's got his third bucket of the night. Dumars kicks to McHale. Back to Dumars. Johnson to the middle. Pass to McHale. And the shot is good. I think he's been kind of passive today. And, you know, maybe that one will get him going. I, I think for them to be successful, he needs to be the one to do the bulk of the scoring. Now here's Rose. 20 points for him. Kicks it to Bellamy. 
He passes to McLeod. Deflected. Here's Hawkins. No good. Nice D from McLeod. And it's the Magic with the ball. Boozer fires. The second chance effort. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Oh, that's a good strategy when you're on top. And Orlando making a change here. Russell's checked in. That free throw good from McLeod. For Washington, they've gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. Johnson goes in. That's good. Johnson's got seven points in the game. That's kind of his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the defense and finish at the rim. And here's Rose. Back to Boozer. Pulls up. Here's McLeod. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. That's good from the clock. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Wizards shooting it quite well in this third quarter, 53%, and the offense is rolling. Passes to the Prodigy. He's up against Matumbo. The Prodigy can't get it to go. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. Matumbo sets a screen. And it's Rose penetrating. Rebounded by the Prodigy. Here comes Magic Johnson. He has seven. Richardson dishes to McHale. Matumbo with the block. Rose against Richardson. Right side, Boozer. Pass to McLeod. Outside Rose. Here's Matumbo. Rebounded by the Wizards. McHale's got six rebounds here tonight. Takes a shot at the elbow. Jump shot is good. Dumar's got his second basket of the game. Rose passes to Boozer. Dishes it to Rose. Matumbo kicks to Boozer. Back to Matumbo. Second chance shot. And that's two points on the layup. Matumbo's got nine points here in the second half. Here's Johnson. And misses where kind had it gone in. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one. I'll get back as we get set to continue our coverage of this round one playoff matchup. Williams is out there with Boss, and it's Dennis Rodman, and it's Richardson, and it's Bosch, and at the five. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. Back to Williams. Washington gets it back. Bosch takes to Rodman, and that one goes in as he is fouled. It will be three points if he converts at the line. All the points these defenders are allowing inside is inexcusable. That's five baskets in a row, and they've all been practically lay-ins. Yeah, they've got to harden and toughen up down there, guys. And it's the Magic with the ball. Hit his leg. And the ref's whistling a kick ball. On defense, the Wizards. Stolen. And sometimes when you have a big lead like this, you, you get a... Oh, 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 ridiculous move. Oh, it down that time. <laughs> Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. Uh, and guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. <laughs> Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The first free throw is good. Both free throws good from the beast. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. For Washington, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Williams kicks to Bosch. Back to Williams. He feeds it to Richardson. 
Outside Williams. Boss four on the shot clock. Shots good by Williams. Jason. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Francis passes to Horford. Russell High Post gets the bucket. Well, sometimes, guys, you can forget he's out there, and all of a sudden, bang, he'll string together three or four shots in a row and just take over the game. You know, something else with him, you can't forget about his skill as a pull-up shooter. I mean, you give him too much room, and he won't hesitate for a second to raise up and spray you with that jet. Well, they recover it. Bosh, that's good. Here's the franchise. Russell, a screen on Williams. Francis passes to Russell. Gets it to go. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here is Williams. Bosch dishes to Williams. Back to Bosch. The Wizards working the ball around now. Richardson kicks to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Shooting for Washington. Williams. And he knocks down the first one. This is what they need to do in the second half to come out with a win. It's not the only thing, but when you convert free throws at the other end, you put a lot of pressure on the opponent to play solid defense against you. David West, he's checked in for Russell. And so here's Orlando. Let's it fly. Off the left rim and up. Washington's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Williams passes to Richardson. Rodman feeds it to Williams. He dishes it to Bosch. David West grabs the miss. The Magic have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. From six away, and it's blocked by Bosch. against Richardson. Offensive rebound. The shot's good from Boss. Boy, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Here's the franchise. West, right side. And the best of the beast. West is screen on run. Ball's not loose. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. with possession. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Passes it to the prod. It's stolen by Rose. And now Orlando on the break. Rose has tapped the ball. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Boy, they've looked good in the open floor today. That's had a lot to do with their success. Well, they've been doing the right thing, Steve. Anytime they've had numbers, they've gone straight up court with it right away. Boom. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. The free throw drops for Rose. He's made an effort to get into the defense a lot more by aggressively attacking the basket, and he's not shying away from the contact, which has given him some free throw opportunities. Now, here is Dumas. Richardson with it. Pocket six. Dives for it. Swiped it away. Outside Rose. Back to West, poke loose. And here we go, Richardson heading to the hoop. The fast break ends at the rim of the jam. Just floating to the rim on that slam. Boy, when he gets up, he gets up and stays up. Boy, smooth and graceful. How about the hang time? That's impressive. Here's Dumars after the made shot from Russell. Richardson, good. 
the Magic have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Into Bellamy. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. None of the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that jam. And I do not blame him at all, partner. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his all right. way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at least. Now Dumars after the miss three from Boss. Richardson, that's a two-pointer, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Boy, they're doing a nice job, a really good job of getting second chances here. And that's a that's a great way to cut into that lead. I mean, nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than putback. The shot by Bellamy, no good. Great close out there, forcing the Aaron shot. Well, he made it a tough shot again. He didn't give up on it, and he got a hand up. For three, Richardson. Richardson missing again. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick, just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. A guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. Here's the franchise. Releases. And that one hits back iron. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert. He's got to take that every time. The shot's good from Boss. Magic leading by 23. He kicks it to Bellamy. Working on Rodney. Fades and shoots. The shot by Bellamy, no good. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. It is now to Richardson. Sinks the triple. Richardson's got nine points now in the quarter. The Magic have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Rose double teamed. West dishes to Rose. Back to West. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Now, here's Richardson. Dumars kicks to Richardson. Nice ball movement by Washington. Shots good from Boss. Another good look there, and that's his second three-pointer of the game. Orlando, they've gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. So, for the Magic. against Matumbo. Now, here's Bellamy. Defense is right there. Shot clock at six. Russell kicks to Posey. On deep three-point range. Offensive rebound. And the basket by Matumbo. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area. Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a defensive adjustment is necessary here. And yes, sir, that one drops. 31 points for Iverson. Tell you what, he's had an excellent game, and they're going to have to continue to rely on him if they're going to come back. Magic leading by 19 points. Now Rose. There's the lob to the hoop, and it's Dikembe with the jam. A little bit of a magic act here, pulling off the Houdini to make that catch and slam. Stupendous, stupendous alley-oop. This crowd just stunned at the sight of that one. Russell against Hawkins. Cannot hit. Nice D from Russell. The Magic have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. And there's the feed to Matumbo. He passes to Posey. Kicks it to Rhodes. Dishes to Bellamy. It's rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got his third rebound on the night. Iverson right side. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. And that's now 33 points for Iverson. And for the Magic, they're shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from the offense. Rose attacking. Johnson outside. Iverson outside. 
pass to Makia. From 15 feet away, rebound by the Magic. Majumbo's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to Rose. He feeds it to Russell. Back to Rose. Nice jump shot. Good. Rose has got 14 points now in the second half. Well, that puts the nail in the coffin. A clinic in terms of how to play with the lead right there. Iverson, and it's sent back by Posey. Feeds to Matumbo. 105 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Six to shoot. Here's Rose. Changes up, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Now here's Richardson. Boss outside Dumars. The pass to the prodigy. Oh, what a great finish as he gets bumped on his way up. He'll go to the line and try to check on another. That free throw good from the prodigy. Well, Orlando shooting an efficient 53% from the field. Here's the franchise. He dishes it to West. Pass to Francis. Shot clock at six. Back to West. Washington with the rebound. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Jumar's the pass to Boss. And the Wizards hit again from deep. This run probably just a case of too little too late. But at least they're still going after it and playing hard. It would have been very easy to throw in the towel a while ago. And they do it. They'll move on to round two. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. That'll do it for now for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in to the Eastern Conference quarterfinals here on 2K Sports. Now let's check out our Jordan player of the game.